hello guys welcome to a new video uh, it's been a long time not making a video let's do a new video this is a video on how to make a photo presentation which will be absolutely stunning and awesome uh, which will be like this I'm showing you on the screen now So first you should get started, go to the Camtasia and create a new project and first you gonna need is to get your pictures the one which you want to insert in your videos so get some pictures, I'm gonna get some of the wallpapers I'm gonna select all just and I'm gonna select some of them you can select how, uh, how much you want uh, at least 50 60 I'm selecting only few maybe 8 as add to timeline yes, and set the resolution to 1280 into 720 which will be HD ok now you got a background you should need a background which will be absolutely plain which has no text in it so you can get the backgrounds and there will be a link in the description to where to get the backgrounds so I have a background which is plain so I will show you that I'm gonna use this one in my video this one which is absolutely plain and has some of the flares behind it so it's good and awesome and you're gonna drag that background here and you're gonna drag these pictures up and here this is the as you wanna see if I play the video right now the pictures will come one by one which is not so good looking so to make the photo presentation which was at the beginning which just I showed you first you gonna notice just move this background away and take the first picture and move these other pictures a little bit side okay now you should crop this picture to the middle make it small size so that it can move towards the screen like this so go to here go here this will be good yes here this much and you're gonna go now to zoom and pan and so we want the photo to come from up here I mean from the right side up above the right corner so you're gonna just this what do you call the zoom and pan here you should make the zooming pan smaller like this as you can see there's a creep frame here which you can see that's that made the photo to go up so just move this what you call this uh, uh, cursor type yes move this forward and and again here it creates another keyframe here so drag this zoom in pan out so as you can see what it does is the picture comes out of the up Okay, so I'm gonna show this again. I'm gonna do this again. Go to the up. It comes here. So as it comes here, I'm gonna move this little here. And then I'm gonna drag this little here at the center, and I'm gonna resize it. See as it comes from the up. Yes, it comes right here. So uh, if it stays like this it will not look good so it should be moving to here and here so place it there and now go little front here and select the zoom in pan and just make this like this and 
go here s yes. and just move this to a little here s yes. and go front and now here what it does it adds keyframe below so as you can see it smooths now so as you go front little just move it here and in front again here you should do you should make this at least four to five times which looks which will look like effect which is moving so first you gotta left then right see it's adding keyframe here right sorry left and then right s and you can see that picture comes from up and it moves little slushies i mean it moves from left to right from left to right s yes. so first picture is ready as you can see add a add a transition to it when it comes i mean from when it ends the picture at last you should add a transition so i will add this one triple which will look good so as you can see if i inserted the background it comes from the up and moves here and there which looks nice and it goes and the next picture comes so we should add the we should do the same to the next picture also i will show you this one how to make this so select this picture and resize it i mean crop this and take it up to the center so the previous one came from here so this one should come from here which will look good so select in zoom in pan and make this smaller and as you can see it's smaller now just little move further just a couple of seconds i mean it's a couple of seconds it's one two two let's go here and resize this as you can see they added a keyframe and it comes from the up and just insert this picture at the middle center and you should do this for this also that it should move from left to right and right to left which will look good so go a little further and select in zooming pan and move it a little this is not very much so i will just increase this yes and i will resize this yes and yes you can see it moves really good i'm gonna move this one up down and left to right i'm gonna first move this one left and go front and right and go front and down and go front and up and go front and left this should look good and i will go another little bit front and right left or left and again front here right and I should add a transition to it at the end. Here, these are the keyframe which will move, make your picture to move. So these are the important one for your presentation. So keep in mind, don't change them uh, very often. Just make it simple. Yes, I'm gonna use this one dissolve, which is cool. As you can see, the now the text, now the picture. It comes from this side and moves a little bit and this moves yes it goes as you can see now yeah i just done some of the two pictures right now two for all pictures you should do like this which will look good and one from here one from here and one from here and one from here and one from here one from here so should they make all these pictures the same which will look nice and which will have a good effect so as this Kamitesha is not a professional editing software we can at least do a presentation like this which will be a simple one so i'm gonna make this also the same so i can pause the video i will pause the video because it will take time also i will show this one also the last page yes and go to the zoom in pan first you should go to is resize this page at the center take it to the center just made a little small yes here and here now we're gonna go to zoom in pan and i'm gonna this one i want this to come from here this 
this side so I will take this zoom in pan here so sorry I want this to come from this side so I should take this zoom in pan from here yes and I will go a couple of seconds front and make this big and drag this to the center and make it a little smaller as you can see it comes from the corner and yes I'm gonna move this one upside down like this so I will, sh I will just move this one little front go a couple of seconds front and move here and again front and here and again front and up and again front sorry again again front down and again front here and again front just move it everywhere I will see this like so it will look good and it will give it an effect so as Camtasia doesn't have clear frames like other software it would be easy for you to do so at last place it on the middle yes and add a transition to it the transition also makes it look good I will add a glow to this yes I will make a cup, uh, another two pictures right and end this video I mean end this make a presentation and I will go to the final step right now I will skip I will skip this part for making these two pictures and the same thing I will skip this one as you can see now what I have done is simple and good looking and we should add more to it we should add uh, some of the borders and some shadows I will show this I will just I'm just pausing the video right now and I will do the same thing to do these pictures also yes wait a minute welcome back i just done i just did some of these two pictures only not all because it takes more time and you can do this it's easy quite a lot if you do faster you can just grow it faster and another thing don't do this effect when you're having the background behind the pictures because it will cause your background also to zoom and the video will be not so attractive as you think and it may cause some of the bad effects you know just uh, the background will also zoom and it will not look good so don't do this just move this background here and do the editing here okay just take this key from here and now at the last final part I'm gonna just wait a minute yes and at the final part I didn't so I'm gonna just, just wait a minute yes and at the final part go for click on the first picture and go to more and visual properties and in see here add a border to it it will look good so I'm gonna add a border I will add a white border I will add a thick one which will be like look good see it's a border right now here's and I'm gonna add a shadow drop shadow which will give it a little effect like it's somewhat a good effect I should say and just move it backwards a little bit distance let's do it for this all and you can add animation also here for this by clicking this on this keyframe and going to there and just flipping this a little and you can do that as you can see where as it, when it comes here it just like just tilts like this uh, just moves like this you can add, do that also uh, by clicking the keyframe here and by clicking the keyframe and moving this one it will work and you can move it at any side and it will also look good so do that it will be more attractive yes uh, go to visual properties and do that and don't change the opacity will not look good and don't colorize it if you want you can colorize it do this and again I'm going to the second picture I'm gonna add border to this one also yes border I'm gonna add white as you can see I'm gonna add black to this one as black is more attractive for this one I'm gonna add a black so drop shadow also just a little bit more yes again here at the third picture and 
again for this also a little border I will add white to this one as you can see it will sh yes thicken little and drop shadow a little bit yes and again to the last picture also border white drop shadow and I will give it a little tilt effect here as you can see here uh, yes and I'm gonna go front and here also I'm gonna move this one this way as you can see you can make it more attractive by moving like this behind as you can see here like this or like this as you can see out here whatever you do it looks attractive very attractive so Camtasia has a good options like this so you can use it for photo presentation also and you can edit any videos using this software by using these techniques which will look good yes and at the final step I'm gonna add for this one also the background visual properties and just the video is taking too long so I will do it faster and now at the last go add any of your music I'm gonna choose my own music yes wait a minute I'm just yes I'm gonna add a music your music should be attractive so it can define your video I mean it looks your as your music is attractive your video looks more awesome and people can feel it Spread the audio here and here. Yes. I'm gonna take these two upwards and bring this down. And you can do this slideshow for any um, uh, more pictures. I mean, 20, 30, 40, 50. And if you have any, any weddings, something more, you can do this for all. See? It's good and it's awesome. See? Even if the music is good, see the tilt effect and the moving one. Yes, thank you for watching the video. This was a tutorial on how to make a photo presentation or, or slideshow using Camtasia Studio 8. So thank you for watching please comment rate, and subscribe and join me on facebook if you have any com questions just comment if you don't understand the video correctly just look at the description and if you want the backgrounds i will there will be a link in the description so please like and comment thank you